<clears throat> man, man, man. I want y'all to, I'm gonna let y'all watch this clip after this video, but yo, Lil Yachty, was it Current Cur Blue or something like that? I never heard of this girl, man. <laughs> I know who Lil Yachty is, but I ain't never heard of this girl. I guess he was trying to pump the bad behind this young girl and his team, and, uh, and they coming out talking crazy. That's the one thing that, that hit me on the nose when he said he wrote for you, he wrote your freestyle, he dressed you, <laughs> put your clothes on, gave you jewelry. I'm like, God dang, y'all just say he 900,000 in the hole with these with this girl and she coming out talking about he bullying her? Are you serious right now? Are you crazy? You should put some respect on that man's name. He, that man wrote your lyrics. <laughs> that man put you in his house. That man took you from washing dishes and busting tables down to getting into the line like to be able to make millions. Even though you lost about, about, a, about, a, about, a, about a mill, he was trying to put you in position. Everybody was saying they like you, everybody rock. They really didn't like you, they really liked the Lil Yachty because Lil Yachty was writing everything you did. He, he dressed you, he put the jewelry on you, he did everything for you. So I, liking her would mean that you like Yachty and everybody calling Yachty whack and all this other stuff. But yeah, Yachty writing for all these people and putting them in position that to do hit records. But I'm cool with Lil Yachty sitting in the background and not saying nothing. But the disrespect from Lil Yachty to Nicki Minaj and all these, these talented people, it's disrespectful as heck, bro. And these people out here getting uh, uh, boosted up by this Instagram and fake TikTok numbers and fake YouTube numbers. And then they put their projects out and they don't sell because they don't have the talent like a Yachty. They don't have the talent like the Nicki. But yet they trying to walk around like they somebody. That's, that's real messed up. My whole thing with the Yachty thing is this, bro. I feel like people are just opportunists, bro. They don't really like you. They like the opportunity that you provided for them. They never liked you. That's why they do the stuff that they do. How could I be so ungrateful to go on the internet and tell people that you bullied me or say some crazy stuff? I stole money. You just lost me a damn near a million dollars. You talking about I lost you? You I took some money from you. That's crazy, bro. That's cr I'm putting jewelry on you that you ain't never seen. Type money you ain't never seen, and yet you gonna disrespect me on the internet like that? I put money in your pocket. I got gave you the opportunity to shine. I gave you a name, let alone I wrote your lyrics. And you got the nerve to come on the internet and disrespect me in this form of fashion. It's blasphemy, man. The girl Ice Spice disrespecting Nikki is blasphemy, man. It's like this this is crazy, man. This Instagram, this social media stuff is killing, killing everything out here because it got people too overly hyped thinking that they somebody that they not with no talent. I gotta go back to murder moot what he was saying. No, what he, what he say, the, uh, the new era is, is no talent, is talent, or something like that. Man, this is real, bro. What Myrtle Moop said is so accurate, bro. That Instagram, uh, YouTube, this social media thing is really hyping people head up. They think they can rap and entertain and, and, and put together stuff like a Yachty and a Nicki. It's like, bro, y'all crazy. And all the bashing that they do to that boy Yachty, that's crazy. Y'all ain't even realize that half the music y'all listening to come from him. That's gonna hurt y'all heart to know that. But y'all calling this man all type of names, but y'all ain't realizing all this stuff coming from y'all. Right? And then Nikki Woon ain't gotta go there. The girl got a whole planet to herself. But it's like, this This is why I say, man, trying to help people, bro. I always say this. This world is selfish, bro. The world is selfish, bro. Everybody think about these self, bro. They don't think, you come back, everybody going bashing on um, Nicki Minaj talking about go work with the uh, with the newer artists and all of that. Then she go do it and they behind the back writing bad text messages, sending messed up messages about her talking about like she need them. She need them for what? That's what I'm saying, bro, with the whole Lil Yachty thing. That, that, and the, the people in this group that's doing the things that they're doing to him, they never liked him from the beginning. They just wanted to take advantage of the opportunity. They never liked this dude. It's like the girl that get with the guy that's rich. She never liked him. He was always ugly to her. She just got with that guy because he had money. That was it. That's the whole thing with this thing. It's an opportunity. I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity. But when a chance I get up, I'm going to, I can't say the word I want to say. I'm going to stun on you. I'm going to use the word stun on you. Like you ain't nothing. Because they never had no love in their heart for you. They never appreciate nothing you did for them. And they didn't care about you in the beginning, bro. It's the, it's the mentality of the youth these days, bro. They be selfish, man. Like I said before, it's the analogy of the pretty girl messing with the ugly guy because he got money. And she only with him because he got the money. And she never liked you. She ain't like how you dress. She ain't like how your face look. Nothing. She ain't like nothing about you. But she got with you because of the money. That's the situation right here. She got, they got with, the group got with you because of the opportunity. They never liked you. Because there's no way somebody got love for you. Even if we got to disagree. My best friend, Dre, if we got to disagree, I ain't coming to no internet to say that. I'm going to talk to that man, man, and man is going to stay there behind closed doors. Or for somebody to come out 
and do that disrespect and somebody putting jewelry on somebody writing your lyrics you ain't even writing your own stuff they even say you got talent somebody dressing you and all of that man you come from busting tables down and washing dishes and somebody give you opportunity and you're gonna fit to say that out your mouth i'm not saying nothing i'm just gonna work on my craft and become dark because the opportunity people don't give people opportunity that's why they don't give people opportunity it's because how people treat them in this selfish dark world that we be living in man at this point, man, Pierce, all I got to say about that, G, I'm out, man. I'm so sick and tired of helping people, bro. All I done ever did was help people, nigga. From goddamn, this whole care shit to this Mitch situation online, what y'all talking about? A uh, little yachty disrespecting his friend. I'm going to start with care, right? Because right now I'm on some fuck everybody type shit. Yeah. Nigga, fuck it with me. Uh, nigga, all I ever did was help care, nigga, care. If you want to tell this shit, tell the whole story. Go ahead and tell people how you verbally abuse people, all right? Don't get on here and make it seem like niggas kicked you out. Like niggas kicked you out because, uh, bullying you? Bro, go ahead and tell people how you talk to people. How you tell my security guy, oh, you home, oh, you work for me. Oh, uh, we are, uh, we, you ain't got no, you're poor. And, uh, we above you and how you, you talk to people like they nothing. You talk to people like they're like they small. Oh, you just such a good girl. Bro, stop the front, bro. We didn't internally we have withheld your actions since the beginning of me giving you this career. What are we talking about, bro? What the fuck are we even talking about, bro? You don't even do nothing. You just, what the fuck? Yo, bro. It's so crazy to me, bro, because I fucking I I I've given you a career. And time to time, you just disrespect me. I wrote every fucking verse you've done. I, I dressed, I dressed all five of y'all niggas, bro. I dressed five niggas every time we stepped out the house. I put an outfit on everybody. Eight carat earrings in everybody ear. I put three chains on all y'all neck. We Cartier watch. I gave you that chrome Rolex. Bro, you the most, dis you, you was watching tables. You was, you was, you was, you was waiting. What are we talking about, nigga? What's your motherfucking... What's the problem with you new artists? Y'all fucking... Y'all get popping online. And then you become more popular than your actual music. Right? You $900,000 in a hole and I got every fucking receipt, nigga. $900,000 in a hole. I got every fucking receipt, nigga, and I'm gonna post it. Hey, you try me. Try me, I'm gonna post it, nigga. And I'll post how much money your fucking streams are made. You got, bro, stop, don't, don't go on the internet and act like I'm bullying you, bro. I've been nothing but loving and caring and paid your bills and gave you money and, and, and took you around the world. And nobody would even know who the fuck Caribou was if it wasn't for me. What are we talking about, bro? What the fuck are we talking about, bro? I wrote that fucking verse when we went on On The Radar. I put you last on purpose so everyone would say, who the fuck is that girl? I the beat down. I put 808 specifically on your verse. So when it got to your part in the beat drop, get a stylist and go do you. I wasn't gonna speak on you, but you gonna go on the internet and say that I bully you? Kara, I have never bullied you. I let you live in my house for free. You lived in my house for free when you didn't have nowhere to live. I let you live in my house. I let you live in my house for free. I let you live in my house for motherfucking free when you was disrespecting my home security and telling them that they they beneath you and that they better shut the fuck up and watch this house because they work for you when they work for me same way you talk to people at the label same way you talk to the touring person